Officially moving to Texas, Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk sold all of his Los Angeles properties after pledging he would own no house. While the business tycoon started 2020 off with six Bel Air homes, he sold one for $29 million, then a second property, and records show the four remaining Musk estates sold in a single deal worth nearly $62 million. Of course, Elon isn't homeless and still owns a 47-acre mansion in Hillsborough, California, while his baby mama and partner Grimes maintains a redone home in Pasadena. Today we're going to check out some of the couple's real estate, we even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Elon Reeve Musk is a business tycoon, industrial designer, engineer, and more, best known for being the founder, CEO, and designer of SpaceX, as well as the CEO and product architect of Tesla. These are far from the only companies Elon is behind, but those are the two that are most talked about. Elon was born to a Canadian mother and South African father and was raised in South Africa before attending university. University in Canada when he moved there at age 17. A couple of years later, Musk moved to the US and continued school there. He started his high tech career co founding a web software and online bank X.com, and later in 2002, he founded SpaceX. Furthermore, in 2004, Elon joined electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla Inc. as chairman and product architect, becoming its CEO in 2008. In 2015, he co founded OpenAI, a nonprofit research company that promotes friendly artificial intelligence, and the list goes on. These days, the business tycoon is the second richest person in the world with a net worth of $167 billion or more. And since last year, Elon has been unloading all of his mansions in Los Angeles. List. After announcing he was moving to Texas, he sold his largest Bel Air home for $29 million, a second property, and then the four remaining in the area in a massive single deal for over $60 million. His girlfriend and baby mama musician Grimes was apparently mad that he was loading all this real estate when their baby's son, I can't pronounce that name, was on the way. But she still owns a home in LA herself, which we'll check out too. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I am bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to ring that bell, we post a new video daily. Since Elon Musk has sold all of his Bel Air compounds in LA real estate, we're gonna check out some of these properties, as well as his partner Grimes' home and more. Now before we get into this story, this video is sponsored by the fine folks over at NordVPN. Just a few weeks ago, our main channel before they were famous and this channel got hacked. We nearly lost everything, and this would never have happened if we had NordVPN installed prior to the hack. NordVPN is a service that protects your personal information and online traffic and allows you to change your IP address. So, in the event that someone is trying to hack your passwords or private information, NordVPN steps in to keep you safe online. They have over 5,200 super fast servers in 59 countries worldwide, so you can change your virtual location with a click. We haven't done a sponsor here on this channel in a while because we only want to promote products we believe in, and this is one of them, so check it out. Creators like PewDiePie, Casey Neistat, and Philip DeFranco all swear by NordVPN, and since we got hacked, I won't be cruising online without them. Go to our custom link down below and use our coupon code BTWFAMOUS to get a two year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and now let's get into this video. First off, the largest of Elon's homes sold for over $29 million to a Chinese tech billionaire in an all cash deal. This 6,251 square foot estate also served as his main residence for the last while and boasted 7 beds and 11 baths throughout. He bought the estate back in 2012 and as you'd expect, it's protected by walls, a gate and state of the art security. And we can see the property is chock full of lush and landscape gardens as well as a swimming pool and spa, dining patios and more. The multi-level the mansion sits on 1.7 acres of land, offering up views of the Bel Air Country Club, the Pacific Ocean, and even Catalina Island. For about $17 million, he was renting. This is, is that a mink 
Yeah, throw he has right there. <laughs> the home was modeled after a French country estate, and there were rooms for Elon to hang out and play video games with his kids, which is what he loves to do in his spare time. There's also a massive home movie theater. The living room boasted a couch with a mink throw, and elsewhere, there was a high class kitchen and two story library. Elon always likes to stay in shape, so he did that at his home gym, and the mansion also has a large entertainment center, wine cellar, and more. Along with this mega mansion, Elon went on to buy neighboring real estate, creating a complex compound of sorts in Bel Air, which he sold more recently. In October 2020, Elon sold his second property, the former Gene Wilder house, to Wilder's nephew. Now, records show the four remaining Musk properties sold in a nearly $62 million deal bought by a local developer, Artie Tavgarian. Elon first put the four properties up for sale as a package estate with a $62.5 million price tag, but they're really not a flowing estate at all. Only two of the homes are next to one another, and all four structures have completely completely different architectural styles. So one of the homes is an ultra contemporary mansion and the one next door is a neoclassical colonial house. Then across the street there's a traditional bungalow, quite humble in size, and the home on the hillside below was built in 1954 as a mid-century modernist ranch but has since been redone. Now that spot is a sprawling mansion best described as 90s modern with a mid-century twist. Elon bought these properties in four different transactions from separate sellers between 2015 and 2019 for a total of $55 million. Furthermore, he spent a ton of money well into the millions in renovations, especially on finishing that largest home. While Elon sold up all that Bel Air and Los Angeles real estate, he still was set to own this mansion in Northern California, but it was reported he was trying to sell that too. The Tesla founder listed his Hillsborough estate for $35 million last year, but it appears he has and found a buyer just yet. Hillsboro is a town in the San Francisco Bay Area of California, and this historic property was built in 1916 by a famed wild child progeny of a French count and gold rush heiress. There are 10 beds and 10 baths in about 16,000 square feet of elegant space. Most of the mansion was designed by architects Bliss and Faville, who are also the ones behind the Flood Mansion and the St. Francis Hotel. Looking at photos of Elon's Hillsboro home, I'm obsessed. The place is like a Castle. Talk about dream home. There's just something about that old world style. The somewhat Mediterranean style mansion comes with royal features like a ballroom with 20 foot ceilings and original moldings, two alcohol cellars, one for wine and one for liquor, and a banquet style dining room. Another highlight is the preserved but upgraded kitchen that features new white tiling and a marble island but still boasts the original servants' bells. The entryway is also impressive with the classic black and white checked floors and wrought iron arched windows. Outside on the property, which is one of the largest parcels of land on the San Francisco Peninsula no less, there's a gorgeous pool and even its own private canyon and reservoir. The 100 year old mansion was originally owned by well to do members of society as I mentioned and has quite the history. After several price reductions, Musk bought the estate in 2017 for just over $23 million, so we'll see how much he sells it for. Let's not forget that Elon's other half musician Grimes owns a home in the Pasadena neighborhood of LA, which he purchased in 2018 for only $1.7 million. It was a bit of a fixer-upper at the time, and she's redone the home drastically since, and while it looks like one level, it drops down two full floors at the back. Records show that Grimes' home has 3,721 square feet of space with five beds and three baths, as well as features when you walk in like a large office with amazing views and a spacious living room with fireplace and wet bar. Nearby, there's a formal dining area and family room, as well as what was a super dated kitchen at the time which Grimes purchased the abode. Sadly, the kitchen was also windowless, aside from a few skylights in the vaulted ceilings, but by now this has likely been revamped. Two bedrooms were on the main floor along with the master suite that didn't have an attached bath. However, I'm sure Grimes changed that with her renovations too. The residence also has a spacious gym with hardwood floors and a backyard terrace with covered dining space, barbecue, and jacuzzi. Since the home is on a steep cliff overlooking the Arroyo Forest, there isn't much of a backyard, but it does make for a great nature setting and a ton of privacy. So now we've checked out the mansions of Elon Musk, basically the handful that he's been getting rid of, including his Bel Air compound of six properties he said goodbye to. We 
also checked out the historic spot in Northern California he still owns, and his partner grinds his humble abode in Pasadena. After checking out these estates, what did you guys think? And what do you think about Elon's plan to own no home? I don't really get it, but if it were me, I would never sell that Hillsborough estate. It's just too perfect. I guess we'll have to see where the couple decides to live in their new home of Texas. I mean, unless you guys already know. Be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as what you liked or didn't like about Elon's properties. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. We'll link you my latest video. So Elisa's missing person case, one thing that was a huge deal was a viral video of her in the CISO hotel. One of the staff, he goes up to check the water tanks on the roof. Long story short, they find Elisa's body in there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.